Hey guys, recently I made an experiment where I just went to the Hiding Face LLM leaderboard, typed Lama Tree here, that the three best performing models, in this case these three, did something called model merging and created a better model out of them. Since I already combined the top three models, it became the top model. This model merging came into my attention from a co-worker Malone. Thank you Malone, shout out to you. And I realized that it is very powerful. So I thought I should make a video about it. So in this video, I will show you how you can do the exact same thing, combine models for now from the same architecture and create a better model out of them without doing any training. In the end, I will also show you how you can submit your final model to the Hugging Face LLM leaderboard. The main library we are going to use is the merge kit from i3 AI. I also tried to go to the each merging method one by one to the original repositories. However, I must say that the merge kit did a great job putting everything together into a single easy to use package. So thank you to the authors. However, what I feel is that it would be good if it had a little bit more documentation. I will show you how to install it, how to create the configuration files, etc. Also, it has several merging methods that it supports. For this, we will only use the basic linear merging method. This is not going to be an in-depth video where I will explain the different merging methods, try it and how do they work. However, I believe it will be enough to get you started create your merged models and try the different algorithms and create powerful models. If you want to learn more about this merging methods and how do they work, Julian Salmon has a great video where he explains how they work. So I will put a link to that too. Go check that out. Also, please note that even though we are seeing some merging methods that can combine different architectures, mostly you have to choose same architectures to combine together. For example, in my case, I chose Llama Tree models. I will put the GitHub link below and before we start, as usual, if you like this video, smash that like button, subscribe to my channel. What you want to see next, let me know in the comment section below. And if you are ready, let's just get started. Now, the first thing we want to do is install the possible libraries that we are going to use, which is bits and bytes and accelerate. Let's just hit enter. Now we have to install the merge kit itself. For this, the first thing we are going to do is we will say git clone and the URL of the merge kit, which is here, or you can take it by just going into the merge kit, code, copy this, and paste it here. After that, we want to go into the merge kit directory and do a pip install, and just let's just hit enter. Now what we need is a YML file that will tell the merge kit which models to merge and how to merge. If you go to the GitHub page of the merge kit, you can see some examples here. For example, we are going to do a linear merge. So here are some examples. We will do something similar to this, okay, with different models and different weights. And here you can see also the other configurations for the other merging methods. Our merging configurations will look like this. So here what it is, is that I just took the top three Llama tree models that is currently on Hugging Face. I gave the weights one, which weights means is that how much uh, importance we give to the specific model. So if it is lower, their weights has lower impact. For this, I wanted for all of them to be have the same impact. Of course, you can configure it. By the way, I selected three models in total, but that's just a preference. I thought it is a sweet spot. You can add more or you can subtract, you can do less, you can do more, it's up to you. And we have the merge method, which is linear, and we have the tokenizer source, which is union. This is important. What it is, is that you also are merging the tokenizers, okay? And one of the tokenizers, usually the specific tokens are different from each other. One may have the pet token S, one may have the pet token pet or whatever. So if you merge them without having this, you will likely to get errors related to the tokenizer. So put that, and as a data type, I specify it as float 16. Now, since I am on Colab, I just downloaded this file. I will put this into the GitHub too, by the way. Uh, you can just download it too or create yourself, name it whatever you want, and with YML. I will come here and drag and drop my YML file into the merge kit. So now it is here. Let's close this. 
Now since we have the YML file ready too, it's time to do the actual merging. By the way, as I know, you can do this from the command line too, but I don't usually like using command line for these type of stuff. I usually prefer to go with just in the Python. So we will do that. First, we will need an output path. This is where the model is going to get saved, the merged model. In this case, I just put models llama 3s merged, okay? This is not important. This is important. Uh, this is the path of your YML file. In this case, in my case, it is in content merge kit linear YML. Or you can just come here inside the merge kit. We drag and drop in this into the here. You can just say copy path and merge this to here. After this, we have copy tokenizer. We will set it to true. What it does is that it also creates a tokenizer for you inside the Llama 3S merge. Yes, we want that and we will need it when we post it to the leaderboard. We set lazy unpickle equals to false. So I set this to false because I have enough computation power. In my case, if you don't have enough computation power, you can set it to true and it will use less RAM. Same for this low CPU memory. I have enough computation power, so this is set to false. Now we import torch, we import YML. We import merge configuration from merge kit. We import merge options and run merge. And we open the YML file. We put it into the merge config. By the way, I took this code from the example section in merge kit, somewhere like that inside the merge kit GitHub. You can find this in there too. You will open this with merge configuration that we imported from merge kit. And after that, we start running the merge. We put merge config as arguments, output path we defined here, the where the model is going to save. Options, we have the merge options such as a LoRa merge cache. Like I said, it's not important for now for us. We have the CUDA, whether it's going to use GPU or CPU, copy tokenizer or not, we set this. Lazy and pickle, we set that too. Low CPU memory, we set that too. And we close the run merge. And we print done. And after this, our model will be ready for use and it will be saved under the Llama trees merge. Beware, this may take a little bit of time because it downloads the model, loads them and merges them. So be patient and let's run this. And the model merging is complete. Hopefully you didn't have any problems up to this point. If you have like a memory error, you may try setting these guys to true. It may help. But in overall, yes, it requires a high memory in overall. So now since we have a merge model, let's try to get some results with it. So by the way, this uh, part is not mandatory, but just to see, you know, the our model works. First thing we do is we import auto model for casual LM and auto tokenizer from transformers and we import torch. We define our tokenizer equals to auto tokenizer from pre-trained. This is the place where our merged model got saved. And we load our model again from the same place and we specify a torch D type as float 16 and we put it into GPU. So a note here, you may encounter CUDA out of memory error in this place. If you encounter a CUDA out of memory, memory error, the best solution would be use a 4-bit quantization. I decided to show the 4-bit quantization too because I thought lots of people will have memory problems. So to do 4-bit quantization, what you do is you define a quant config here and import its and bytes config from transformers, all right? And here you go and say quantization config equals to quant config and it will load it in 4-bit quantization. With this, probably you won't have a memory problem. Something I missed, if you do 4-bit quantization, you have to remove this to CUDA and run it again. And now the user message. What I want the function to calculate is that is a cursive function that calculates Fibonacci sequence in Python. And I have a prompt which goes like this, blob is an instruction, blah, blah, instruction, the user message, and I want the response. So I believe this is a weak spot about the merge models because I merged three models, but I don't know their individual prompt formats. 
and usually prompt formats can make a huge difference but i just used this specific format but like i said i believe this is a weak spot in the merge models that there is no unified prompting format when you merge them all together that out of the way we just uh, tokenize the inputs we return pytorch tensors and we say model generate we unpack the inputs we put them into the cuda and we put some decoding method strategies. I won't go into details in them, but most of my videos, such as training SFT, if you're curious, just go to there. Some decoding strategies, and we have the outputs. So we decode them with the tokenizer, and we skip the special tokens so that we will have a more clear output, and we print the results. Let's just hit enter and see the results. Now we have an output, we may get these warnings, okay, special tokens have been added, I think that's because we merged the tokenizer as well. And here we have a result to calculate the Fibonacci numbers and some comments and stuff. So we can see that the model generates something and it is working. And now let's see how we can evaluate this model compared to the models that we used for merging it and how do we can submit it to the Hugging Face LLM leaderboard. First thing we have to do is we have to log in into our Hugging Face account from this notebook. To do that, we, what we do is from Hugging Face up, import notebook login, and we say notebook login. We run this, you click to here, you come into your account, and you copy this, copy one of your tokens if you don't generate a new one. In my case, I copy this, paste it here, and say login, and we are logged in. And now we want to push our model and the tokenizer into our Hugging Face account. How we do that is we say our model push to hop and the name you want to give to your model. So in my case, my username is Ugar Coach, so I put that and I put Llama Tree Merge Linear as my model name. And do the same for tokenizer and hit enter. In this case, I want it enter because I already did that. After that is done, you can actually see the model inside your Hugging Face account. Here in my case, in Ugar Coach Llama Tree Merge Linear, it is here. So before submitting to the leaderboard, we have a couple of things to do. We have to check that if it is in a submittable format. What Hugging Face suggests is that we do we import autoconfig, automodel, and auto tokenizer, and we say config, autoconfig.fromTreeTrain, and we put the model. We do it for auto model and we do it for auto tokenizer. This should be worth. Let's hit enter and see if this is working. When we do that, if it loads here like this without any problem, it means we are good to go. So what we need to do now is that go to the Hugging Face LLM leaderboard, just Google Hugging Face LLM leaderboard, come here to submit, put your model name. In my case, it is, for example, this one, Precision Float 16, if you follow this. And model type, we want to say base merges and more urges, okay, and you say submit evaluation. I want it because I already submitted. One more thing you should do before submission is that you have to go to your model, you have to come edit model card and set the license to MIT, okay? Otherwise, when you are submitting, it will complain that you don't have a license. And once you do that, after a while, you will be able to see your model in the LLM leaderboard. You can track in the queues and runnings and finished evaluations. And let's check out my model. We say Llama Tree because I just, this doesn't necessarily filter all Llama Tree models, but I just like for convenience said Llama Tree. I, put, I took the 7B models because they are easy to load into memory. And probably now it will show my model again. And as you can see here, I sorted them from the average top to bottom. And the model we did, mini Llama Tree Merge Linear, is in the top place because we merged the previous top three models and it performed better. And this is even without setting the generation config or the template config in the files. So I think this is pretty powerful. And this was all for me today. Like I said, I wanted to be a, this to be a quick video to show you like the model merging, what it is and how to do it. I suggest you to go into this merge kit GitHub site and try the other, other methods. Like we just tried the basic one, linear, okay, model slopes, but there are lots of mores. So just go there, experiment with it. Uh, it doesn't require any training to merge models too. So this is a very good thing. Thank you for listening. See you at another video.